Our journey continues on the other side. Huh? Wait, uh, will we cross over this stream? Uh, no. We'll fly over it. <laughs> <laughs> if you come on, on If I to cross over it, what are we waiting for? The sooner we get to the colony, the better for everyone. <laughs> This is Abaka, the stream of evil. The gods of Uhi have taken their second sacrifice. Hey! Is that all you're going to say? Is that all you're going to say? You are supposed to leave these men! You promised the Igwe, you will bring them back safely. Now another one of them has just died, and all you can say is the gods of Dengi and Zengia. Cross over the stream, and you will follow me. Make sure your feet does not touch the water. That is the only way you can cross safely. And this serves as a lesson to all of you. Wait for instructions before you do anything. Follow me. Why? How close are we to the Dwarf Kingdom? Five market weeks. What are you doing? Do you want to fill up one water pot with urine? I have finished. But but what? But the urine, it will stop flowing. Oh, it's still coming out. Oh. What do you mean it will stop flowing? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's still coming out. Oh. It's still coming out. You people are looking at me. You people should help me out. It's still coming out. It's still coming out. You people should. Agumba. Agumba! 
Uh, it's still coming out. What? It's turned to blood. <laughs> Somebody do something about this. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you want me to help you? Or you want to stay here and urinate forever? Just do her what you are carrying. Why are you go? It Why doesn't you? mean. Yeah. Come, come and help me. 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 Huh? Come, come. Come, Why you come. come and just show her. It doesn't mean. Show her. Show her what you are carrying. It doesn't mean anything. Say much, they can cut the canca. Ori Miriri, Mori. Thank you. For the rest of this journey, do not urinate on any anthill. These are the children of the deity of the earth. Thank you. <laughs> the, man, the big man with a small tail! <laughs> it's not funny. We have to start moving now before the sun sets.
We have reached the territory of the witch of Hussein. Hmm? Did you say witch? Ikuku, what's wrong with you? Are you asleep? That brave man. As we enter, do not look at her. She charms anyone who looks at her, and that person will not live to tell the story. Very. Lies the first access to our destination. Remember, do not look at her. Follow me. That you intend to leave Ikukuebu down there. Ikuku is dead. Do you expect me to go into that hole and fetch his dead body? Why, you go? Agumba, what do we do now? I say we continue. And I say no one takes a step further until we're sure that Ikuku is dead or alive. Ikuku! Ikukuebu! Hey! Ikuku! Even the dead would have heard that. 
Azuka. I'm sorry, my dear. I I didn't mean to to frighten you. I have told you several times without number to stop coming to my house. And please, Azuka, stop calling me your dear. Jeremiah, you know you've always been you've always been dear to my heart. Eh? And you will always be. I am a married woman. Leave me alone now. We have been destined. To be together. C can't you see? see? The gods took Ugo go far away. So that we we'll have time to express our deep, I mean, true love to each other. Azuka, I have told you over and over again. I do not love you. I cannot love you. The only person I'm in love with is Ugo Chiku my husband? Ugo, I doubt if Ugo will ever return to the Ugo village. Ugo Chiku will return and remain married to Chidema. There are so many other beautiful girls in the town, not married. Why not take your empty head to one of them to nurture for you and leave my daughter in peace? Uh, good evening. Keep your greetings to others and get out of this compound before the gods descend on you. I said get out! Get out! Oh, 
Get to the colony on time. We must leave now. Aye. 
What is wrong with you? If Waiku says we leave him, we leave him alone! here for now. Saved him if you wanted to. But instead you let him die. You've always wanted to get rid of him. What I want, or what I do not want, has nothing to do with our mission.
Wanyuku. We will continue with this journey all right. But without you. Hey! You will regret it. Da! Wanyuku! Do you think that I, Ikemba, was born yesterday? Do you think that I would leave Umweze unprepared? Whatever you have is nothing compared to the powers I can say. It's alright. I am the Kalabash! Useful body packs for the spirits. Mm. That we shall see. Agada War! No same man challenges the gods to a fight. Dickenbach is dead, and you will stay that way. They are here. And who are they? We've been expecting them. They come with evil intentions to take the golden axe. <laughs> no mortal challenges the gods and live on bond. have arrived in here, but some of them I cannot see. We always knew that some of them will not make it back alive. The gods do not allow us to save those who have been left along the way until they come back alive. Will they return with the axe? This is the question. Only the gods know. You prepared them well. 
If something is learned too quickly, it is also forgotten too quickly. We have done our part. The battle is now left between the gods of our land and the gods of in here. We must offer a sacrifice to the gods this night. All those who are left must come back to this land safely and with the axe. Yes. Over and over again. Ugochuku will return to Ox. Mother, I don't know what I would do if Ugo doesn't return to me. He will surely come back. Ugo is a very strong good person that never gives up. He will make us proud. I lie on my bed every night. Hoping that I will hear the voice of my husband calling out my name. But it never happened. It will happen. When my brother returns with the axe, both of you are going to have lots of children, both male and female. Then you forget this your moment of agony and grief and cling on to a life of constant joy and happiness. You are just like your brother. You say the nicest things. Let me help you out with this. Oh, God of our land. Please guide and protect my son, wherever he is. Nine. Oh, you Nine. You are here? Yes, Papa. You're welcome. What of your parents? They are fine, Papa. Uh, when you go back, greet them for me, eh? I will, Papa. Uh, Ada? Papa. When your mother comes, tell her that I've gone to see my Zioko. Yes, Papa. Huh? Only a foolish man dips his hand into a pot of a boiling soup. Why, Uku? That which you desire. 
never be yours. Why you this is just between me and you?
all these acts that you see is our ancestral inheritance. No. But our sons are dying. Our land will soon become extinct if we don't take back the acts. You brought the cost on yourself. Must we pay the price for the sins committed by another generation? You are not willing to pay for the injustice your people made on our Ezebia. And we are not willing to hand over our inheritance to you. Take them away! <laughs> an opportunity like this to pass you by. Is it because of that boy? That boy who will never return? Chimeke, Oburobo, Yasugi. Yeah. My Ikemba will return. Oh, uh, yeah. And so will my brother Agumba. Upe, <laughs> even if he returns, mm. assuming he returns, eh, what does he have to offer? In what capacity can he take care of you? <laughs> Mm -hmm. The reason I am this calm is because I don't know what I'll say or do to you. They'll say it is an abomination. Yeah. So I'd rather you respect yourself. <laughs> Come here, Maria. I know you are pretending. I know you are only pretending. But you better open your eyes now. You better open your eyes. Because when the time comes, you will be the one crawling on your knees, begging for my attention. Already you know that in this village, it is one man to 20 women and it's getting cheaper by the day. <laughs> or is it easy to be a successful young man in the community? May the God strike me dead if such a thought should ever cross my mind. Yeah. <laughs> come now, I'm telling you now. <laughs> now that there are only five official wives, oh, come and be the sixth one. <laughs> Let me go and see him again. That one is ever ready. Why? Why are we taking all this humiliation? To kill a monkey, you must learn how to swing from branch to branch. What do you mean, why? What do you mean? That we play along with them until we are able to find out their secrets and how to overpower them and take the axe. Is that what you've come here to do? To die without fighting back? Huh? The bed had fought back. What happened to him? Alice, the bed fought like a man. He died like one. I would rather die than to lie back here and wait for those midgets to crawl up to me in the dark and kill me. Thank you. 
Yes. But what happened? We left you for dead at the rabbi. I come now. Death is only in the imagination of religion. I was brought back to life by my friend. From the land of the dead or from the land of the spirit? You want some water? What I've done, huh? You have just flicked my my water now. How do I survive this place now? Huh? Where am I? In the land of the living, my friend. Drag my water. Thank you for saving my life. Now I have saved yours. Huh? When you fell down from the river and broke all your bones, I mended them for you. But you have not told me who you are. I am Opongo, the son of Mpataku. Opongo. That does not sound like the name of Ihi. It is a name from Ihi. <laughs> are you telling me that I have learned in the colony, the land of the dwarves? That is where you are. I carried you all the way from the right line and came back by the shortcut of the spirit. This is Ihi. She survived. Now I know why the gods chose me. The people of Rome, they will have come for the axe. We will bring up. So there's no way we can get it. Unless we have help from the people. Open my eyes like we have not going to help us. Why? We don't have that time later. We need to be able to secure the axe without the right mind. That's what they planned. You see? Our patience has finally paid off. What patience? Your patience. If you had your way, she would be long dead by now. How do we accomplish this? You live all that to me for now. Everything is under control. I leave you for now. No one has no hand around. Upon God, we said we are to be like that. Ma, 
Come, come. Be a my. It is me, Wokolo. What is all this? I don't know why you want an opportunity like this to pass you by. Is it because of that boy? That boy who will never return? Chineke. Obrobo. Yasugi. Yeah. My Ikemba will return. Oh, uh, yeah. And so will my brother Agumba. Upe. <laughs> Even if he returns. Mm. Assuming he returns, eh, what does he have to offer? In what capacity can he take care of you? <laughs> my son, mm -hmm. the reason I am this calm is because I don't know what I will say or do to you. They will say it is an abomination. Yeah. So I'd rather you respect yourself. <laughs> Come here, Mavia. I know you are pretending. I know you are only pretending. But you better open your eyes now. You better open your eyes. Because when the time comes, you will be the one crawling on your knees, begging for my attention. Already you know that in this village, it is one man to 20 women. And it's getting cheaper by the day. <laughs> or is it easy to be a successful young man in the community? May the God strike me dead if such a thought should ever cross my mind. Yeah. <laughs> come now, I'm telling you now. <laughs> now that there are only five official wives, go. Come and be the sixth one. I don't why. I don't even know where Let me go and see you again. That one is ever ready. <laughs> why? Why are we taking all this humiliation? To kill a monkey. You must learn how to swing from branch to branch. What do you mean? Why? What do you mean? That we play along with them until we are able to find out their secrets and how to overpower them and take the axe. Is that what you've come here to do? To die without fighting back? Huh? You get a fought back. What happened to you? Alice, the bay fought like a man. He died like one. I would rather die than to lie back here and wait for those midgets to crawl up to me in the dark and kill me. of the dead or from the land of the spirit. You want some water? Ah, look 
that what, what I've done? Huh? You have just flicked my my water now. How do I survive this place now? Huh? The land of the living, my friend. You! You drank my water! Thank you for saving my life. Now I have saved yours. How? Huh? When you fell down from the river and broke all your bones, I mended them for you. But you have not told me who. I am Obongo, the son of Mbatako. Obongo? That does not sound like the name of the name. It is a name from Ihi. <laughs> are you telling me that I am now in the colony, the land of the dwarves? That is where you are. I carried you all the way from the ravine and came back by the shortcut of the spirit. This is him. Yes. And the gods she survived. Now I know why the gods chose me. The people of me. They will have called for the axe. So there's no way we can get it. Unless we have help from the people. Open my inside and I'm going to do it also. Why? We have no time later. We need to know we can secure the axe without the time. That's what they planned. You see? Our patience has finally paid off. What patience? What patience? If you had your way, he would be long dead by now. But we are quite patient. We live all that to me for now. Everything is under control. I live it for now. No one must know I am around. Upon go, we send you up to your mother. Again, my dear. Behave yourself, Azuka, and leave another man's wife alone. Which man? The one the gods saw fit enough to deliver us from this curse. Ugochuku is nothing but a boy. But he is far better than you. Because if the gods see you as a man, they would have picked you as well. I am sure that in their eyes, you are nothing but a woman, a coward. Don't you dare insult me, because I have strong feelings for you. The same teeth a dog uses in playing with its puppies. It uses to bite intruders. You don't scare me, Azuka. Don't, Azuka, leave me don't alone. Don't you dare walk out on me. Leave me alone, Azuka. You're hurting me. Don't. Azuka. 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 Uh, no, no problem. <laughs> no problem. My father caused that land before he was buried 
alive and because the axe was not with him. I'm not about to set them free from the cost. How long will they suffer for the sins of their fathers? For as long as their wickedness rankled the noises of the gods. But we know that their presence, Igwe, is a very good man. All he wants for his kingdom to survive. We should hand over the golden house to them. Pantako, the gods don't judge like men. The major ingredient of goodness is to judge fairly. We should judge fairly in this situation. Whatever we judge, I say we should hand over the golden axe to them. Don't even think about it. We should not hand over the golden axe to any mortal. Remember, the axe is our shield of destiny. If it falls into the hands of mere mortal, we are doomed. about the ass. Shh, shh, stop. It's in the shrine. How can we take it? We have to steal it. Right now? We wait till nightfall. When the Ezeria will be asleep. Stay alert. We will come for you all. Get back. 